Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, Wednesday the 26th, not Friday, Wednesday the 26th, hump day. We've got a brand new release here, 2023 Bowman Baseball 8-Box Jumbo, pick your team number 3. It's a full case, all card ship, except for paper vet comments and non-Bowman First prospects. All chrome card ship, all Bowman First paper ship, all rookie paper ship, all obviously hits, numbered cards, autographs, etc., etc., Everything else will be donated. I'm pretty sure you'll be getting a vast majority of the cards anyway. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. And congrats to the people who won those teams in that jumbo pack filler we did. And then EG with the Nats. Last spot mojo. Now... There's a lot, a lot of prospecting here. There could be some late bloomers here. They could, there could be, but the, the guys we're kind of focusing now, some of the key players now are Drew Jones, obviously, for Arizona, uh, Justin Crawford, Philadelphia, Edward Julian, Minnesota, Cam Collier, Cincinnati, Spencer Jones, Yankees. Those are some of the key players that we're focusing on for these 2023 Bowman baseball breaks. So, let's take a look at the box. This is my first look at a full jumbo box here. Uh, Drew Jones on the cover, Gunnar Henderson on there. Three autographs per box, plus a lot of parallel hunting. So, good luck, everyone. Thank you for getting in. Pick your team four. I just put into a filler before we started this break, so take a look there try to win some teams for a fraction of the price. Now I've got some uh, Lakers basketball on the background. They're up 3-1 on the Grizz, trying to, trying to close things out. It'll be a tough task, I'm sure. Uh, the baseball, what's going on in the baseball? My Dodgers are being too hit by the Pirates right now. And how about them Pirates? So they're in the bottom of the sixth. Pirates are up 3-0 on the Dodgers. In the top of the eighth, Astros are up on the Rays, 1-0. The Astros breaking the Rays' home win streak last night, I want to say. Top of the sixth, Mariners up on the Phillies, 5-4. Top of the fifth, Nationals are up on the Mets, 2-1. Top of the sixth, Braves are down to the Marlins. Marlins are up three nothing. Top of the fourth, scoreless in in, uh, in Wrigley Field. Padres at Cubs. Some late games. We got A's Angels later tonight. We got Cardinals Giants later tonight as well. Those are your late West Coast games. We got some finals. Reds beat the Rangers 5-3. Orioles beat the Red Sox 6-2. Blue Jays shut out the White Sox 8-0. Guardians over the Rockies 4-1. Yankees doubled up the Twins 12-6. Brewers beat the Tigers 6-2. And the, uh, the Diamondbacks shut out the Royals 2-0. Part of a Zach Gallon 12 strikeout performance. All right, so cards like that won't ship. That's a rookie card, so that will ship. So this kind of paper, that'll ship, that'll ship, but that sort of paper will not be shipping. Just FYI. That's a Bowman first, so that will ship. So yeah, you will be getting most, uh, most everything. These inserts will obviously ship. I like the design of of uh, Bowman this year. I like the frame. I like the big logos right here. The big RC logo, big team logo. I think the uh, 
The names seem like they're a little bit of a bigger font too, so point size. Some, some years they're a little too small. Especially if you're doing a longer break. You know, you don't want you want the text to be as sort of big as possible. We've got a Joe Stewart. It's our first autograph here. 110 out of 299. Bowman first, Joe Stewart, on card auto, speckle going to Steven and the Angels. Oh, there's our first Drew Jones paper, Michael Golder picking up the Diamondbacks straight up. I like this, uh, this parallel looks really cool, or the insert looks really cool, I like that. There's this sort of seafoam green parallel in here as well, which I dig. Some paper of the some of the key rookies here. Justin Crawford. Now I think most people know that Drew Jones is Andrew Jones's kid. I did not realize that Justin Crawford, Carl Crawford's kid. So um, the sons of some former major leaguers being drafted. There's a Devers, just to, stamped to 499. The numbers look different, right? Are the numbers bigger too? And we've got Braylon Bishop. Okay, someone's got to maybe let him know. Doesn't have to sign it in that corner. Uh, Chad, Chad D with the, uh, the Pirates, that is. There's to 125, Davison De Los Santos. That's for Michael and the Diamondbacks. There's Luis Lara, 481 out of 499. Eduardo Julian. For the Twins, it's going to be for Pat, Pat Wolf for the Twins. Oh, the Wolf? And we've got a Juan Brito, 200 out of 499, refractor autograph for the Rocks. Jeremy Port with the Rockies, won that team straight up. Or one that team in the filler, that is. We've got a uh, Spencer Jones siding here. Matt Smith with the Yankees.
All right, box one in the books. And we'll, of course, do a, uh, an autograph recap at the end of the break. All right, onwards. Grizzlies leading my Lakers, 58-47. 58-48 now on that Austin Reeves free throw. He's got one more. The minute 48 left in the first half. So a lot of game to be played. Would like to see them get cut this a little bit closer. Oh, Lakers on a 10-2 scoring run in the last two and a half minutes. That's good. Lakers leading this year, series 3-1. We've got a... But playing desperate teams are dangerous. Teams with the, on the brink of elimination. Hmm. Lakers with 10 turnovers already to the Grizzlies 4. I don't like that. Next box. Got a Drew, Drome, Drew Jones Chrome card this time for uh, for Michael and the Diamondbacks. And we got Kyle Harrison Blue, 69 out of 150. Bowen first autograph for my rivals, the Giants. EA Sports, it's in the game. Shoot it, Austin. Oof. Another, uh, Edward Julian for Minnesota. For Pat. And we've got Alex Ramirez, Purple Ray Wave, 149 out of 250. Mets, that'll be for Tristan and the Metropolitans. Another Drew Jones paper. And we 
we've got a Blue Jays auto. It's Yoangel Aponte. It's for Matthew Shira, who uh, got the Blue Jays in the filler. Yes, this is Jumbo 3. It's Khalil Watson to 4.99. You bought the cu Cub spot? But your name is in the White Sox spot. Jin, let's see why that is. Maybe I just mixed up the spots. Well, I mixed it up. And the filler, it was the White Sox we were giving away. Good catch, good catch. What are you doing here, printer? Let's go ahead and print. That'd be nice. Not sure why the printer is lagging a little bit here. Justin Crawford going to Beverly and the Phillies. There's a paper Justin Crawford as well. All right, my mistake. Thanks for catching it, but there it is. There's the updated list. Mike actually has the White Sox from the filler. And then Yi Ho Jin with the uh, Cubs. And then Jorge Ruiz, purple chrome. 140 out of 250 going to Steven and the Angels. So our third and final autograph of this box. Let's see if we can find some low numbered cards before we move on to the next. And we got a Jace Young. 52 out of 299 for Detroit Speckle for Paul. Josh's brother. All right, onwards. Lakers game on halftime. Let's check in on what my Dodgers are doing here. Oh no, bottom of the seventh, bases loaded to the Pirates. 
They're still up 3 nothing. The other uh, basketball game in progress is uh, Knicks at Cavs. Knicks are up 87 to 75. Cavs trying to avoid elimination. Knicks are up 3-1 on the series. Coming up a little bit later in basketball, the Heat are uh, in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, believe it or not, they're on the brink of el elimination. Not too many teams come back from a 3-1 a, a deficit. Okay. One game at a time for Milwaukee. It'll be crazy to have you know, um, whatever, whatever seed Miami was, right? Like seven, seven or eight? Beat the top seed. And then the late, the later game, it's turning out to be a pretty exciting series. Warriors are in Sacramento. And that series is tied two apiece. It's looking like it might go the full seven. Another Justin Crawford for Beverly and the Phillies. Cam Collier for Cincinnati. That'll be for Mark. Got a speckle, Damon Keith, Bowman first autograph, 291 out of 299. Who's got my Dodgers? Garrett has my Dodgers. Late round pick, but he's the number 30 Dodgers prospect. He's going to score some runs. And we got a Leandro Arias for the Orioles. Jonathan with the O's. And we've got a Hunter, a Hunter Barco. The Under Armour Baseball All-America autograph. And Hunter Barco, who are you with? He is in the Pirates organization. And that will be for Chad DeBenny with Pittsburgh. All right, we got a Spencer Jones paper for the Yankees. That's for Matt Smith. And an Edward Julian for the Twins. That'll be for Pat. Let me try to find some ink for those guys. There's Matthew Libertor 
Uh, blue paper, 62 out of 125 for the Cardinals. Brian with the Redbirds. And an autograph for you, Brian? Yes. Samil De La Rosa. Purple chrome autograph, 52 out of 250. De La Rosa going to Brian once again and the Redbirds. Christian Hernandez, paper 324 out of 4.99. That's for Ho Jin and the Cubs. Drew Jones going to Michael. Got a Roman Anthony autograph. Jeremy Port, Boston. Second round pick. We get four autos out of there? We did. A bonus auto. And a junior Caminero. 97 out of 150. Tampa Bay, Brandon with the Rays. Drew Jones paper from Michael. Cam Collier Chrome. And we'll go to uh, Mark and Cincinnati. All right, box four of eight. Is that a Spencer Jones autograph? Boom, it is. Nice one for the Yankees, Matt Smith. He's one of the top two-way prospects in the 2019 class. Thanks. Nice. That's 
the last time we got one of those autographs, that ended up being like the bonus auto. So let's see if we can get four out of this, out of this one. All right, good luck. Another box. We got Wilmer Flores, 204 to 250. Purple Chrome Auto for Paul and Detroit. So here's Spencer Jones hitting. The Yankees is a late first round pick. It's Ellie Dela Cruz to 125. Nice one for Cincinnati. Mark. Oh, and a, uh, a, light, a light pink parallel. 164 out of 175. Mets, that'll be for Tristan. Oh. It was at halftime. They're already back? It's a one-point game. Oh, my God. They were down like nine going into the half. Ooh. That's like in two minutes? Yeah. Wow. They're winning. They're up eight. Fourth quarter, 9.39. Got Bowman Prospects, Modern Prospects. Drew Jones. Five tool potential. We got a Tommy Speck. Yeah, I like that autograph. Making good use of the canvas there. That's going to go to Paul and the Rangers. There's Alejandro Osuna to 499 for the Rangers. That'll be for Paul. Got a uh, Yadiel Sanchez. Yadiel Sanchez. Four seventy six out of four ninety nine for the Angels. That's going to be for Steven. That is our fourth autograph. Got that bonus auto. I like it. I'll take it.
All right, we're halfway through this full case break. And again, I'll do an autograph recap at the end. Four more boxes to go, probably another, what, 35 minutes or so to go. That's not good. I'm looking at NBA headlines here. Timberwolves Anthony Edwards tied for assault after a Game 5 loss. Oh, no. Minnesota Timberwolves and guard Anthony Edwards cited for third-degree assault after he allegedly swung a chair that struck two female employees following the team series-ending loss to the Nuggets, said the Denver Police Department. The incident occurred as Edwards headed toward the Wolves' locker room after the loss and swung a folding chair, injuring employees. Yeah, that's not good for the hobby. It doesn't sound like, I don't know, I mean, that's one of, I guess that's why it's third degree maybe, because it doesn't sound like it was a premeditated attack towards those, specifically those two employees, but sort of uh, injured on the frustrated player throwing things and you get injured on the job, that's not good. If convicted, Edwards faces possible jail time and a fine of up to $1,000. All right, next box. We hope everyone in here does things that are good for the hobby. Here is uh, Imarian Boyd. That's for Beverly and the Phillies. Yeah, Brandon, you got you got the uh, you got the free spot. Parlayed that into got the Guardians from the filler, so that's good. Yeah, the Dodgers bullpen is, is, is terrible. <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, it looked like they turned a corner yesterday. They, they went five scoreless innings, looked really yeah. good yesterday, but now today. T tonight was a little less, a little up and down. A little bit deja vu. <laughs> no, I think Dodgers still finding a little, trying to find a little consistency this early stage of the season. See, uh, You know, people getting settled in. 26 out of 50, there's Tyler Soderstrom, number 34 on the Bowman Scouts Top 100. Got the Eric Brown Jr. to 175. That is for Mark and the Brew Crew. Justin Crawford, another one for Beverly. And the Phillies. More Justin Crawfords, more Justin Crawfords. 94 out of 250, Purple Chrome, Justin Crawford. Nice. And then another uh, Base Chrome, Justin Crawford, Beverly. Thankfully, Brandon, it's still, still an early stage of the season. We're only, what... 20 some odd games in. So hopefully some of the relievers kind of get their footing. The hitting's been inconsistent too.
But uh, but I like this adversity early in the season. And the Dodgers trying to battle for some. I feel like last year things were a little too easy. 20 out of 150, Joshua Baez for Brian and the Cardinals. Won the division way too easily, won a ton of games. He kind of cruised. And I think once they were hit with, uh, you know, some adversity. Ooh, nice. Justin Crawford autograph. Blue. 63 out of 150. There you go, Beverly. Getting the Phillies straight up and being rewarded. Rewarded with their first round, 17th overall pick. Earned 70 scouting grades for his speed. I think the scale is 40 to 80. That's pretty nice. Nice. Carl Crawford's kid. Brazen base dealer. I like seeing that. Yeah, Gilo saying, kind of thinks Max Muncy had to leave in the middle of a hot streak. On paternity leave. A lot of Dodgers players on paternity leave. I think like four or five Dodgers within the week. Not this Max Muncy. They've got the same birthday though, which is kind of crazy. At the end of last year, those Dodgers were having some fun. Yeah, well, what happened nine months ago? That's what I'm saying. It was, it was just the end of the year. I just, I just looked was it the end of the year? Yeah, it was, it was right. Oh, there, the, uh, there you go. Yeah, having some fun. Samil De La Rosa, speckle autograph for the Cardinals, for Brian. No, actually, yeah. That's actually around the time of the All-Star game, Adam. You're right. Minus nine months. We're already, what, four months into this year, minus the five months, right? December is 12, minus five. That's around seven. So All-Star break. I don't think any of those the, the Dodgers players that have been on paternity leave, I think, were not All-Stars. So they had some time off. Another box down, a few more boxes to go. I'm not sure if Mun Muncy was, he was fine last year. He was just struggling because he was coming off that elbow surgery. So I think at the end of the 2021 season, the last game of the year, I want to say that he was on first. There's a player running down first, he was, there was like a little dribbler up the first base line that picked it up and stuck his arm out to try to get the guy out. And then his, the guy ran into his elbow and it messed up his elbow. So he got surgery in 2021, which messed up his 2022. And he wasn't really figuring things out until the middle of 2022. And he came up with a sort of, he wasn't really getting into rhythm. His elbow was still bothering him a little bit. And developed some weird thing where his back foot 
you know how if you play baseball, a lot of times you, some people naturally have a, a kick, right? Their, their front foot lifts and steps up. He actually figured something out where his back would, foot would go up first. So there's almost like a step, step sort of thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about. But it helps with his, helps with his timing or something like that. He came back to that this year, I want to say. After he started off the season pretty slow, you know, and I think he kind of went back to a, a little variation of that and it's been working for him. Darren, what's going on? The Porterhouse Steak in the house. Another box. Good luck, everybody. We got a magenta, Riley Green, 261 out of 299. Magenta paper for Detroit. That'll be for Paul. Your autograph is Robert Perez Jr., Gold Shimmer, 34 out of 50. Seattle, that's going to be for Mark. Seattle delivered some tough news today. Uh, former Cy Young Award winner, Robbie Ray. Flexor tendon injury. Was trying to recover for him with just regular rest and rehab. No, he's going to get surgery season ending. I was counting on him on my fantasy team. <laughs> Oh, you lost your first fantasy game without him. Down go the funky Muncies. You should uh, you should tweet at Max Mon not the, not the, not that Max Muncie, but tweet Major Leaguer Max Muncie. There's Jace Bowen, 89 out of 150, blue shimmer for Pittsburgh. That's gonna be for Chad. See you. All right, Michael. See you. Have a good one. Go Lakers. Yes, sir. Should tweet him, Julo, and just be like. Hey, congrats on the kid and all, but. There's 411 out of 499, Braylon Bishop. Another one for the Pirates, another one for Chad. Got Luis Ravello that goes to Jeremy Port and the Red Sox. Jones paper. He might report you to, to the non-existent Twitter. Hey, not not if you're nice. If you're kind of tongue in cheek about it. You know, he has a kid. He might be in a good mood. He's a proud father. Ninety-seven out of one twenty-five. A Marion Boyd for Beverly and the Phillies. And he might get a fun tweet back. You, know, you got you got to build the uh, the social media component of your 
of your burgeoning business. All right. Interact with some players. We got a Juan Brito. 497 out of 499. Rookie autograph for or Bowman first autograph for for Port and the Colorado Rockies. All right, so there's our three autographs there. Two more boxes to go. basketball news is happening here while this game is having let's go Lakers Kawhi diagnosed with a torn meniscus Rockets owner at ease with Abdullah being coach NBA union ratify new CBA that goes into effect July 1st McCollum has thumb surgery will rehab shoulder Blazers get a G League team I guess only the Suns don't have a G League team Yeah, load managing still still injured, which kind of shows you that you can just get injured at any time. Just get out there and play. Although I think uh, Kawhi has like a degenerative knee condition or something like that, so I think so that's why they're trying to load manage it. But yeah, still still got injured and. That was that for the Clippers playoff chances. The new collective bargaining agreement will go through 2029. New agreement has several new elements to designed to curb spending for the league's highest paying teams, specifically the Warriors and Clippers. Chief among them, the creation of a second apron above the luxury tax, one that will severely hamper teams if they go over it. Some of those limitations include the inability to sign any free agents for more than a minimum contract, being unable to use cash in trades, and being unable to sign players on the buyout market after the trade deadline. Wow, those are pretty restrictive. The new agreement, however, creates a lot of flexibility for everyone besides the handful of teams that don't go over that second apron. The lower band of luxury tax reduced, reduced to make it less painful to spend into it. Trade restrictions loosen to make more deals possible, including the mid-level exception now allowed to be used as a trade exemption exception. As a trade exception. Increasing the size of both the mid-level and biannual exceptions.
And is that another? It is. It's a base Justin Crawford autograph. Another one for Beverly and the Phillies. Just like that. Grizzlies back up, 92 to 76, jeez. 17-2 run in the last three and a half minutes. Come on, guys. See you, Evan. See, you. Evan. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Jeez, Grizzlies on a 19 2 scoring run to end the third quarter. Oh. Yeah, Knicks, I think Knicks officially won their first playoff series in a minute or two. Adam's old enough to remember when the Phillies didn't get many nice cards. It was in case number two. Way back in the day. Yeah, the Knicks are up 192 with about a minute and 20 left. Got a Gabriel Gonzalez. Nice. I don't know what that pattern is. It looks cool though. 22 out of 99. Green. For Seattle. That'll be for Mark and the Mariners. Green grass, says Brandon and Mike. Nice. Well, I like the look of it. And we've got a uh, lava parallel, 71 out of 399. Ricardo Perez. Ricardo Perez. For Beverly and the Phillies. And a Spencer Jones, pink paper to two ninety nine. Two twenty four out of two ninety nine. That goes to Matt Smith and the Yankees. Got another Spencer Jones paper. Ah, there it is. I was looking for it. It's like, where's our third autograph? 
Atomic Refractor, Randy De Jesus, 75 out of 100. Steven and the Halos. All right, final box coming up. We made it. Thanks, everyone, for getting into it. We got more in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. These long, leisurely breaks are also nice because we got a chance to got a chance to talk a little bit more if you want. More time to. Go through some storylines, various leagues around here. And I guess, I guess the Grizzlies are like, we don't want to go down without a fight. All right. What about some baseball news? Mariner, yeah, we talked about Robbie Ray having season ending surgery. Not good for Robbie, not good for the Mariners, not good for my fantasy team. Cardinals option rookie Jordan Walker to AAA. What's up with that? Uh, Madison Bumgarner, axed by the D-backs, becomes a free agent. Twins is Kenta Maeda, right arm discomfort to get MRI. Springer suffers, George Springer suffers a bruised hand after getting hit by a pitch. The St. Louis Cardinals optioning promising rookie Jordan Walker to AAA Memphis after the outfielder batted 274, a couple home runs, 11 RBIs in his first 20 major league games. He turns 21 next month, was ESPN's 14th ranked prospect entering the season. The move opened a roster spot for second baseman Tyler Motter, who was signed to a major league deal Wednesday. Sure, what the why this? I guess why the Cardinals announced the move the same day Motter had been outrighted to Memphis. He cleared waivers early Wednesday when he was outrighted, accepted the assignment even though he could have become a free agent. He's now headed back to the major league club. Motter is 33 and was designated for assignment over the weekend when Paul DeYoung was reinstated from the injured list. Utility man was batting 222 for the Cardinals in 20 at bats over seven games. In six major league seasons, Taylor Motter is a 192 hitter with 10 home runs and 39 RBIs. Played six different positions in his in the field and even has two appearances as a pitcher. Is it a service time thing? It is. Is it some clever roster maneuvering or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, G Gabe saying Redbirds just want to hurt his Bowman stock. Jordan Walker. I'm sure there's a reason. And we got a Emmanuel Bonillas, 235 out of 499. That's for Matthew and the Blue Jays. Comes from the same city as Juan Soto, Gary Sanchez, and dozens of other big leaguers. Something from an article today. Well, he's saying to well, about well, he's compiled a 192 batting arm since his streak ended. I mean, it's gonna. That, I mean, those those are gonna happen, but. You're, you you want to put 33-year-old Taylor Motter, give him playing time instead? Uh, 
I mean, Modder is a 192 hitter in six major league seasons with seven different teams. You know, I'd rather I'd rather keep rolling Jordan Walker out there than. Suppose they have their reasons. Here's a uh, Nelson Rada, 009 out of 250, purple Ray Wave going to Steven and the Angels. And we've got a Drew Jones for Michael paper and a Cam Collier paper for the Reds. It's going to go to Mark. Steven Olson, what's going on? How are you? got Jeremy Pena. Green paper to $3.99. That'll be for Houston. That'll be for Oren. And then speaking of the Cardinals, there is Samil De La Rosa. 100 out of 150. Blue pattern. Brandon, Mike, do you know that pattern? What that one's called? We'll all learn together. Brian with the Cardinals. Lunar. Lunar, says Mike Tower. All right, I like it. Got a Blaze Jordan purple paper to 250 for Jeremy Port, Eduardo or Edward Julian going to Pat and the Twins. Got a Drew Drone Jones uh, Chrome from Michael and the Diamondbacks. Got the Brock Lobster, Brock Jones. Do, 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 do. That'll be for Brandon and the Tampa Bay Rays. And we got a Jackson Curio flipped around. I'm not sure why, but maybe it's a variation. We'll slip that just in case, sleeve that just in case. Followed by super rare green grass on the moon parallel. The corner Mike Tower. And we have a Mikey Romero, 003 out of 299. Speckle for the Red Sox, that is for Jeremy. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a uh, eight-box jumbo case in the books. This was Pick Your Team 3. Here's a quick little auto recap. And some of the top-tier rookies. Got some extra autos in there as well. So some really nice stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.